obviously a lot of you will know that I make leak videos. It's one of the biggest, like, I guess, exports of the channel, if you could call it that. And I've heard a lot of people criticizing uh, me for making them. So I just want to sort of set the record straight with regards to leak videos. Um, so a lot of people say, okay, so, you know, these leaks probably aren't true. You know, you know that these probably aren't true, right? Uh, a lot of comments to that effect. And I know, I know that. I, I know, I don't report on them because I think they're true. I report on them because I find them interesting. And I even say at the beginning of a lot of the videos, yeah, this might not be true, but I find them interesting to talk about. Uh, so it annoys me when people try and make out that I'm lying to people despite the fact that I tell them in the videos directly, hey, look, this might not be accurate, but I like talking about it anyway. Uh, that really does frustrate me, and I can't help but feel slightly targeted by all this because, like, there are others who do this and have been doing this since I've been doing it, and even before that point, who don't get nearly as much of a backlash from this and I can't help but feel a little bit targeted by it because at the end of the day I make sure I you know I say in the videos that you know these might not be true I state that clearly so in my view this is the way I look at it if you watch a leak video and take it all as fact um no that's fair enough the jokes are fine the jokes are funny the memes are funny but what annoys me is when people act like I'm lying despite the fact that I literally say um you know it's it might not be true and like I just get sick of having to say the same things over again people have a go at me for um using the word leak despite the fact that when I started making these videos that's what they were being called so I just called them what they were being called at the time um and it wasn't a, a, it wasn't a deliberate attempt to try and mislead anybody um it was just me using the title that was presented to me at that time. Um, and I guess I'm just a bit frustrated at seeing the same things over and over again. Yes, I know they might not be true. I'm aware of that, but I enjoy reading them and others do as well. This is, um, this is live. You've become the YouTube version of Reddit Texas Speech Channel um, and people have been really annoyed by it. Uh, the thing is, though, like... I don't see it as that because I have my own input and also, you know, I try and make the editing a dynamic where I can so it's interesting to watch. I do plan on scaling back the leak videos, so I, I wouldn't worry if you are concerned in regards to, um, you know, like, this becoming the only thing I make. It's not going to be the only thing I make, but... Like, as of right now, obviously, you will all know I'm still waiting on this office. I've been waiting on this office for a long time, um, and it's finally almost done now. But for a long time, these were the only sort of videos I could make. Um, you know, so it was the situation where I just made what I could at the time. Um, and to just sort of be, I don't know, ridiculed for that, I just, I guess... Yeah, it's, it's been annoying me a little bit, I can't lie. And I wanted you guys to know that I don't just do it for views, as some people are trying to make out. It really isn't that. I just thought that they were a fun thing to do. And yes, they did start getting views. But the thing that annoys me is that there are people who make these videos just as regularly, who don't get nearly as much hate, despite the fact they're doing the exact same things. And I'm just like, is it just because I'm the one getting views? Do people just not like me? I don't really understand what more I can do to warn people, what more I can do. Like, I could call them rumours, but, like, the difference between the word rumour and the word leak is so minimal that I don't really know what else I can do. I've tried everything to try and make them. And, yeah, I'm aware that that one leak had, you know, a, a hidden message for me, and credit to them, it was quite funny. But, like, yeah, it was just... I'm just getting a bit sick of, like, the same old, tired, like, things being said over and over again. No... I don't think they're all true. <laughs> yes, I do talk about Reddit. That's the thing as well. People say, oh, you're using Reddit for content. Literally one of the biggest YouTubers in the world is literally, a, a, it does Reddit. Like their content majority of it comes from Reddit. Yet somehow when I do it, it's like somehow unacceptable. Um, and I just wonder what more people want me to do um, to fix it, really. I just don't understand. Like, I've tried to, to put disclaimers. I've tried everything I can to make it 
as clear as possible that I don't believe that these are all true, and yet somehow people still still tell me, oh yeah, uh, that message was funny, but people are going, yeah, I just think people are, at the end of the day, listen, I had a comment today, I don't know who sent it, but it was like, getting really tired of these leaked videos. Well, there's a really simple solution to that. If you're tired of a video, don't watch it. <laughs> just don't watch it. It's really not that difficult. You know, no one's forcing you to. I'm not going to come to your house with a gun and be like, you must watch this leaked video. I'm not going to do that. I just think that people need to like, and the people are saying as well, yeah, don't worry, I enjoy the Reddit leaks, it creates a fun discussion. That's all I want. I want to create a fun discussion. I'm not claiming to have insider sources, I'm not claiming to, to be the one source of news. I just talk about them because I find them fun to talk about, you know? Um, you do it because you're a fan, because you love all aspects of it. Yeah, exactly, and people say as well, like, oh, only do videos when we actually get information. Well, at that point, I'd never make any videos because you know, you guys know as well as anyone that just the slow drip feed uh, of content um, that we get. And I just feel like if I didn't make any content in the meantime, why, why I'd never end up making anything, you know? Um, and it's just getting, it's just really getting to me now. And it's just like, the jokes are funny. I find the jokes really funny. Um, yeah, so apparently he said on Discord he was going for a break, Robert K. I hope that answers your question. Um, but I think it just annoys me when YouTubers do the exact same thing and don't get nearly as much hate. And I just think there's so little things that people can do these days that they enjoy. And I just think, you know, someone reading leaks and people watching leaked videos really isn't that, you know, it isn't really that bad. I just really don't think it's that harmful, you know. I state in the videos, they're probably not true. I make sure to read that disclaimer out. I don't really know what more people want. And people say, oh, don't make the thumbnails not clickbaity. How do you make a leak video not clickbaity? They are inherently, as a concept, kind of clickbaity. When you say this rumor comes from Reddit, people should know that from that you're not the primary source as you're not claiming to have contact with someone on the show, I really don't see the harm. Exactly. Exactly. And I was watching, you know, I was watching some old, like, Doctor Who rumour videos um, to sort of see the difference and see, is there anything I'm not doing that these people from the past did? And if anything, I at least say where they're from. Some people just say, oh, this is something that's been tossed about and stuff like that. I say that they're from Reddit. You know where they're coming from and you watch it anyway. The thing is, if you don't want to listen to that warning, then that's on you. It's uh, the, the analogy I use to a friend, it's kind of like getting into a car and not putting your seatbelt on and blaming the car for it rather than the human for not putting their seatbelt on. And it's the same if someone takes a thumbnail at face value and people saying that, oh, well, the thumbnail's a clickbait. Sorry, but what YouTube video at any point isn't clickbait? They all are to a point. You know, if you can find me one video that isn't in some way clickbait, you know, I'll give you a million pounds. That's, that's an exaggeration, but you see my point. You know, every YouTuber does clickbait, but for some reason, when it's me, it's like there's different standards applied, and I just can't help but feel like being somewhat targeted. Um, but now that that's out the way, I just wanted to get that little public service announcement out the way. Um, I understand that they might not be everyone's type of content. I'm not forcing you to watch them. I understand there's a lot of them, but again, there are people who make just as many as me that don't get nearly as much shit. Yeah, also, they're getting views. Clearly, clearly, people want to see them. This is what annoys me as well. People keep acting like, oh, they don't have an audience, no one wants this. They do. They clearly do. Um, you know, they're just annoyed at you because you reported on the title child leak, so they blame you. Maybe. Uh, it's just, yeah, you're performing a public service in the vacuum of official Doctor Who news and broadcast. I guess, yeah, like... You know, the problem was, I guess, like, leaks and rumour videos in the Doctor Who community, they've always existed to a point. But I guess, like, I was the first one to sort of popularise the Reddit thing, and that's not me, like, blowing my own horn, but it is just kind of something that I made kind of mainstream to a point. Uh, and I just kind of feel like I'm the only one getting crap for it, and it's like, it's not really my fault, you know? At the end of the day, I'm not the responsible for, you know, misinformation on Doctor Who news. Someone said that I'm responsible for making Doctor Who news channels not credible. Let me tell you something. Doctor Who news channels have never been that credible outside of the official stuff. Who remembers Percy the Cat from series 11? Anyone? You know, who remembers the 11th Doctor being in Twice Upon a Time? 
You know, it just didn't happen. Near Den say leak gang. Yeah, that's the thing that like you know Near Den does the similar stuff, and I just don't really see it, how it's harmful in any way. It's interesting in my opinion. There is exactly, exactly. I find it interesting. I talk about it. You guys enjoy it, and there are some who don't. But I'm not forcing you to watch it. You know, but I guess I've just got my little rant out the way. Um, you know, so I'm going to start the other things because we got a few things to go over today. But I just felt as though I needed to get that out because I feel like I'm being somewhat targeted. Um, plus, not everyone hates these. 97 people are watching you right now. People have an interest in you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Remember Percy? Remember that? That didn't happen. But no one went after the people who reported that. And yet, for some reason, <laughs> now, like, different standards are being applied. I just don't understand. You know, I get that I make more than perhaps some others do. But, like people make plenty it's i just <sighs> i'm just sick of being the one that's singled out all the time it just feels a bit mean i don't know it just feels a bit mean-spirited to me at least 